I've talked a little bit about sleep now, but do you know how big of a deal this really is? Like how massive this thing is, the, the scale at which uh, sleep is uh, the importance of the whole scenario. And if you've ever gone a long distance without very good sleep, then you kind of understand, but it's very easy to underestimate this thing. It's extremely easy. Okay? You cannot be focused if you didn't, you are not near as focused if you didn't get a, night, a good night's sleep. You get a full eight hours, it is the difference between focus and everywhere, okay? And focus is the difference between me throwing a baseball at you and me throwing a handful of sand at you, okay? One is dangerous, the other one, who cares? Uh, it doesn't matter, okay? So focus is such a huge deal, then we have to consider sleep to be this massive, massive thing. Sleep is gonna be more important than coffee. It's gonna be more important than any stimulant that you put in your body. If you are using stimulants to try to make up for a lack of sleep, man, you are doing it wrong because you are not going to be able to get the benefit off of those stimulants. If you get a full night's sleep and you give me a cup of coffee, if I get a full night's sleep and I get a cup of coffee, I am a monster. If I get no sleep and I take a cup of coffee, I am like one-tenth of what I could be had I not had the cup of coffee on a full night's sleep. The full night's sleep is a huge, huge thing. And the further you can get into the depth of that sleep, the better. Okay, so really don't underestimate this thing. Don't underestimate this thing. Overestimate this thing. It is going to be huge. By the way, you want to get under 45, not seconds, under 45 minutes or over four hours. Okay, and uh, to make it very, very simple, I, I, I heard a guy give, go up and make a speech on this one time and he went all through the ins and outs and there is so much sleep research out there that I think it's kind of insane to try to dig through. I think the simplest way to look at it that I've found so far is that the first four hours are about mental recovery and the second four hours are about physical recovery. Okay, so think of it that way. Your first four hours are mental recovery, your second four hours are physical recovery, and you want both. Uh, recovery is where all the magic happens from your day, from your workout, from, uh, from all the stressors that you put on yourself, hopefully by design and not by chance, but all the stresses that you put on yourself are leading you to the life that you want to live if you're doing it by design. And because of that, and you will not be able to take advantage of those and get anything from those if you're not going into this recovery state known as sleep. It is where you rejuvenate all the energy, okay? You use up all the energy. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. You use all this energy during the day and then you get more of it tomorrow. It's just, it's like time. You just keep on getting all these other seconds, okay? You get, uh, what is it? Uh, there's, there's 168 hours. So you get 24 hours times 60, uh, times 60. I give you a number of seconds. You get that many number of seconds every day, over and over again. You lo you're, you're done with the ones today, and then you get them tomorrow. You're done with the ones that day, and then you get them the next day. And then you're done with the next day, and then you get them the next day. Same thing happens with your energy if you are getting that sleep. Rejuvenate that, use that time. It's a huge, huge deal. It's a tool that you can use to drive out into your life. Right? You will age less. <laughs> you'll age slower, like your body will look better, you'll be more attractive, you'll, you'll, you'll put on less fat, you'll put on better quality muscle, you'll put on more strength, your nerves will work better, your mind will work better, your memory will work better, more mental acuity, more cognition. Everything improves when you have this sleep thing, okay? And we're gonna go into more of this along the way, but if you wanna get a nap in the middle of the day, great, 20 minutes, 45 minutes or less, 45 minutes or less, okay? Uh, over four hours, uh, if, you're between, if you're over that 45 minute mark, it's just gonna make you more tired. It's gonna zonk you out because your body's like, okay, well, let's just keep going. So you wanna cut it at 45 or get over four because we want full mental recovery or you just want that little nap, okay? So, but don't underestimate this thing. Put your energy towards getting that sleep, okay? You want to you want to exhaust yourself so you get the sleep. You want to do all the stuff that we're going to talk about in the in the in the hundred ways to stay focused so that you can get this sleep so that you can push out into your life the way that you want to live your life. But if you underestimate this thing, you don't get this sleep. I spent way too long trying to do this. Oh, I'll sacrifice my sleep so that I can get more done. Man, if I burn an extra two hours, I get way more done than if I happen to you uh, than if I happen to only get six hours and try to take advantage of that extra two. You know what I'm saying? Burn the extra, burn the extra time, okay? Is it, you're not wasting it, you're using it to recover so you can push out harder in a life that you do want to live.